Hey, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a face-off between Berenson and Case. And um, not for any particular reason. This is a fantastic um, Berenson um, offering. And it is a dad barlow, so it's about four inches long. It's really three and seven eighths, right around there. Uh, just a super knife. You've probably seen videos on it. And I wanted to uh, do a comparison between another knife. These are very similar styles. Very um, close in size. This is also for our three and seven eighths. Three and seven eighths. Um, so they're really close. This is a two blade knife right here. Um, but because of the size difference and the comparison between their uh, uh, shapes that's why I chose to do the case so if you'd like to see that uh, comparison between these two knives go ahead and check out the video uh, you don't have to see a fish. get the kids out fishing on the dock here Lisa just called a bass Sherry just caught a tree. Got a little rod on that deck here. Did something happen with it? Yeah, Nana broke it. All right, welcome back to the Fortified Castle. Hi to all my viewers. A really cool matchup here today. Baron Sons uh, Dad Barlow, that's what I'm calling it. Uh, I think Andrew at Baxter Blades first called it a Dad Barlow. I think that's a great name because a big one's a Granddaddy Barlow and a uh, regular size Barlow is a Barlow. And uh, smaller than a regular size is a baby Barlow. So yeah, Dad Barlow fits. Thank you, Andrew, for starting that tradition. And this is, of course, is a case razor knife. Both of these are uh, fantastic uh, knives. You can see there's a lot of metal in them, and it's driving my compass crazy right there. You can see it kind of making it deviate. But uh, anyhow... You know, there's other similarities. They both have uh, wood scales, so um, that's pretty cool too. So um, let's let's get into this. Uh, obviously, the wood uh, both have wood scales. Um, both the scales are done really well with good transitions um, just throughout throughout the knife. Now on the Baron Sun, every corner you can feel. So all these corners here, you can feel it. It's not horrendous. It's not stopping your finger. You just kind of feel it on your skin as you go over it. Um, here's the case. You have some really nice burl wood there. I'd argue it's harder to work with this uh, burl than it is with the, um, the rosewood that they did here. But, you know, that's just me. Um, they're both nicely done wood knives. Um, I think the case shield is uh, better, looks better than the round mon monstrosity that uh, Berenson just won't get away from doing that. Um, they do make other shields, you know, but I don't know why. Um, Would have looked a whole lot better with something other than a metal plug in there. But anyhow, uh, all the transitions here are really good. There's no um, scratching feeling as you go around. They're just smooth. There is one right here. Very barely. You can feel it right there. That kind of scratchiness. Otherwise, uh, the transitions on the case are just done uh, better than the Baron Sun. Um, if you look at the bolsters... They're both really nice, good mirror finishes on them. Uh, they're both square on the uh, back of the knife, on the spine. Uh, the Baron Sun, let's go down that. It's more of a highly polished brush finish. It's not a mirror finish. 
it's like a brush stainless finish on it it looks like there's some gapping in there there is none you see absolutely no light coming through there really good job on the rounds here coming around and then at the termination point of the back spring it's nice and square really sharp looking really nice job if you look at this part let's pop her open if you look at this part looks good looks good got a mirror polish on the tang there and if you look inside if you look inside looks good not quite a mirror polish you can see it's kind of roughed up a little there highly polished down in the throat of the knife if you look at the case looks like there is some gapping in this thing um that's yeah, kind of hard yeah it's a lot of this is differential height there is some light coming through on this case um let's see right here right here right in here um and it looks like gapping too if you look at that yeah it's not just differential height there's some gapping in the case there nice mirror polish on it look at the rounds looks like a pretty good job on the round it actually looks to me yeah it's square nice job and the termination points on the back springs are nice and square there look good of course one is a bare head and one has a bolster at each end So they're a little different in that manner. You can see down inside there, it's nicely cleaned up, shined, but not mirror polished. And the bolsters look pretty good with a mirror polish on the tang. A little bit of gapping right here. You can see on that bolster. And a little bit of gapping on the other one. Uh, I would say the Baron Sun did a better job overall. All the way around. There's no gapping on this. Uh, looks good. I think the um, matchup of the bolster to the um, liners look better than the case. You can see some slight gapping on the case right there on this side right here. And of course, right here, you can see it right there. And you don't see any on the Baron Sun. Uh, so let's check out the function. Um, fairly easy pull there. Round of four or five. And pretty hard to open. I'd say it's close to a seven, it's a six something. Nice uh, half spring. You see the back spring is raised just a little. Should be completely flat there, but it's not. The case has a half spring, and you can see it is all the way up on the uh, back spring, and that just shouldn't be like that. Just not made properly. Nice transitions there. Fabulous transition from the blade to the uh, back spring. Let's see. Let's look at the polish on that. Really nice polish. See, you can see my shirt. Pretty nice. It's kind of making me dizzy look at that. Looking at it. Nice polish on the Baron Sun. See the tang. Baron Sun has a stamped tang. Carbon Steel USA. 
Carbon steel lovers will just be going crazy over that. That's carbon steel. It's Tainer Tuesday. Here you have an etch on one side. And holy moly. Oh, that's the pin blade. <laughs> I thought the tank stamp wasn't on there. And it's an etched tank stamp here. Another thing about this, if you'll notice, you see it's mirror polished here. It looks kind of good all the way. Let me clean it off for you a little bit. But you see how it's hazy here? Yeah, you can really see it's kind of hazy. It's like um, they just aren't completely mirror polishing this. I don't know what's going on there. I've noticed that recently in case knives. Um, that's another little thing, you know, that they're not doing. And... Uh, it's not good, right? It should be consistent across here. You can see my finger there. But I don't know what this is. I don't know what that haze is. But you can see it. I've seen it on a couple other new offerings that I've gotten. And I don't like it, right? It, it doesn't look good. You can see right there. See that haze? Like the top part is shining and the bottom part isn't. It's not completely mirror polished. I mean, I could take that to a mirror polish, no problem, but dang, you know, they should be doing that. Anyhow, so that's that. Uh, nice walk and talk on either one of them. Not terrific, but pretty nice. Pretty nice matchup. What do you guys think? Case, Bear and Son. Um, obviously, they're two different knives. One's a two blade, one's a single blade. They're two different patterns, but they are kind of similar. I think it's a pretty close matchup, and I think uh, Bear and Son just hit it out of the park with this knife. This is Case's vault pattern. You would just think they would put a little more effort in one of the knives they were producing, right? If it was a vault pattern, a special issue knife, only going to issue it this year, maybe they might decide to put a little more effort into the knife. I don't know. You would think, but nah. It doesn't matter whether you're buying a $600 knife or a $40 knife. You get all the same knife from Case doesn't matter kind of sad makes me sad all right hope you enjoyed the video thanks for supporting the channel i really appreciate it y'all and i'll see you in the next video